We're checking out wineries in Sonoma Valley, California, the birthplace of the California wine industry. Welcome to another edition of Journey with Josh. Hello fellow travelers. If you don't know me, I'm Josh and I'm a registered nurse that loves to travel. For the returning viewers, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. That really helps me on YouTube. Today, I'm at Iron Horse Vineyards in Sonoma Valley. I'll put the link in the description. Iron Horse Vineyards was founded in 1976 and they specialize in handcrafted sparkling wines. It's one of Sonoma County's most beautiful small independent estate family owned wineries. You'll wonder if you've taken the right road once you hit the unpaved street that winds its way up to the winery. But don't worry, you're on the right path. Their wines have been served at the White House for six consecutive presidential administrations, beginning with the historic Reagan Gorbachev summit meetings that ended the Cold War. The estate was named after a railroad stop which crossed the property in the 1890s. They even donate a portion of proceeds in partnership with the National Geographic to establish marine protected areas and reduce overfishing around the globe. Iron Horse Vineyard's signature is a sparkling wines, but they have a Chardonnay that's signature Green Valley that's bright and crisp. You'll also find their rising star, a Pinot Noir, that's here too. Okay guys, let's go taste some wine. And this is their Blanc de Blanc, which is their National Geographic wine that they donate $4 per bottle to this. Another very good sparkling wine. I like it. Hi guys, I am drinking the Wedding Cuvée, which has a... Uh, I wouldn't have known it had, not, had I not read the information about the wine but it really does have a lot of orange in it. Um, Doug doesn't taste it that much, but I really taste a lot of the orange that's in this. Yeah, it really does taste orange. Y'all, y'all need to listen here. Doug's driving, and I understand that, but he is actually throwing away wine. I don't understand that. At the very least, he should share the love. So guys, what we got here was the Tasting with a View, Tasting with a view the Sparkling Wine Flight. And that's really what they're well known for, is their sparkling wine. And uh, what they just told me was that Brut is what they what they make here. All of these are Brutes. Um, and I'm actually glad that Doug like tossed them. <laughs> threw my wine away. He kind of threw his wine away. So um, you really have to um, think about those things whenever you're doing the wine tastings here. Designated driver, pace yourself. Designated driver, pace yourself. Beautiful area here. Um, kind of stand and drink your wine and enjoy the weather. The weather is actually very beautiful this weekend. Right now it's about 75, 78 degrees. So it's really nice. No humidity though. 
Um, but yeah, we are on our last glass of wine right now. And then after this, we're probably going to go try to find a place to get something to eat. So, uh, this is really nice. I really enjoy it. If you have a chance, stop by here and enjoy their sparkling wines. The sparkling wines are really good. The tasting isn't over the top, but it's a good experience. All right, we went to Iron Horse Vineyards and um, wanted to tell you a little bit about what we liked and what we didn't like about it. Um, I'll let you go first on this one too. Okay, so um, Iron Horse Vineyards, out in the middle of nowhere. If you don't have a map, you're not gonna find it because it's down a one-way end of street road. Uh, location is really nice. Uh, yeah, location, it's really beautiful out Location there. is scenic. Um, and although it wasn't necessarily bad, of the five wine tastings we went, we went to, it was probably my least favorite. Um, there was less of a personal touch to it, and it was more of just, here's our wines, have a taste, here's the next, have a taste, with very little interaction between uh, the tasters and the staff. Yeah, I actually agree with that. After visiting um, all the different wineries that we visited, uh, over uh, the last couple of days, um, seeing how some wineries like Stag Sleep personalize the service versus um, Domaine Canaris and um, Iron Horse, both were kind of um, generic in a way. Um, really nothing very special, no personalized service. Um, the uh, staff didn't go out of their way to tell us about the winery itself. It was kind of come pour the wine, tell you about the wine, leave. Yeah. Um, whereas when we were at Stag's Leap, they gave us the whole history of the winery. They gave us uh, information about each wine that we did. They listened to us about what we liked and what we didn't like. This lighting is horrible. Um, and so that's what I would say that both um, Iron Horse and um, Domain Canaris. Although I had a great time in their beautiful places, um, the wines were good. They were, um, for experience-wise, they were probably my least favorite on that too. But also the, um, the Iron Horse tasting was the least expensive of the ones that we went to, so perhaps you get what you pay for. That's true. That's true. But the wines, the wines, I mean, the Iron Horse is known again for sparkling versus still wines. Um, and. That's what we decided to sample there, and they were all good. They're all good. Um, just so you you know, um, their specialty is brute wines, so they're going to be very dry wines. One of them was really, really dry. Uh, Doug really likes the dry wines. I, I tend to like the, the more sweeter wine, the sparkling wines. Um, but that's what they're known for. They're known for brute wines, so if you don't like a brute sparkling wine, that's not for you. Um, I love the area. I thought it was a beautiful area. They have olive groves there that are gorgeous. Um, the staff was nice and everything. It was just not personalized. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like what we liked about um, Iron Horse. Um, I think that it's, if you like sparkling wines, it's worth a shot. Out in the middle of nowhere, beautiful scenery. Um, yeah, try it out. All right, everybody. That's all for this edition. But you need to subscribe so you find out where we head to next. And don't forget to click on that notification bell to be updated whenever I upload another video. And as always, thank you for tripping with me.